void 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 the void form tool is really a useful modeling tool in autodex revit but unfortunately sometimes we run into complications when using it so in today's video i'm going to be showing you a variety of ways you could use the void forms and i could also show you some remedies when you run into complications while using void so if you haven't done so make this the video you subscribe to this channel for more content like this also make sure you join the notification squad to get notified once we release new videos because we do that on a weekly basis with that out of the way let's jump right into the main content of this video all right so we are going to be starting with a simple project and we're going to be starting by using the simple void forms so we're just going to go to this l1 and we're just going to go to architecture component model in place we're going to use case work and we're going to click ok and click ok again then we're just going to create a simple rectangle so we're just going to click on extrusion and draw a simple rectangle here okay we are now going to go under extrusion end and put the constraint of the rectangle let's make it five meters high and we could just choose to assign any material we desire to assign on it and let's just put aluminium and we're just going to click ok and we're going to click finish so if you go back to the 3d view you could see our form so you could see we could still manipulate this form however you want so now i want to create a void form to do that one mistake people usually make is they will click on this finished model then they will now go back to architecture component model in place and start trying to create a new void form let's say let's try it now let's say we go to case work now and we go to void forms and we go to void extrusion and we click on set plane and we click on set work plane and we pick a plane then we just pick this face here and we go to circle and just draw a circle here as you can see if i try and select this void to cut this box i cannot cut it so a lot of people will now complain that oh revit is showing them error that they cannot cut this void form so that is the source of it but this is actually the proper way to do it if you create a model in place now like we created this rectangle you, you click on edit in place you must always create the void form within the editable interface of this particular model by editable interface i mean you need to create the void form before clicking on finish model i don't know if you understand so we're going to click on create we're going to go to void forms we're going to go to void extrusion then we're just going to draw set plane again and we're going to set work plane and we're just going to pick this surface and just um, draw a circle okay then we're just going to click on finish and we could just adjust this circle so as you can see the circle has already automatically cut through this form so you can see now i created it within the editable interface of this model you could see how seamlessly it works i could also go to create again i could go to void forms to use another different kind of void form let's say void sweep now so under this void sweep i'm going to click on sketch part and i'm just going to set work plane let me set the work plane as this surface and i'm going to click on pick plane just to make sure then i'm just going to click on sketch part i'm going to start using my pick line tools to just pick the parts i'm sketching through then once i'm done with it i'm going to click finish and i'm going to click on select profile and i'm going to click on edit profile so now i'm just going to draw a profile for the void sweep and i'm just going to draw a line here and i'm going to draw another line here and i'm just going to try and curve use a curve line and just curve this and i'm going to click finish and i'm just going to click finish again so as you can see you can see how the void form has cut through has beveled these edges and it's still within the editable interface of this model so i'm just going to click finish model and i'm going to start using an in life project so i'm going to show you how to use void forms within the context of an architectural project all right so i'm going to be trying and creating void in the context of this project now so i'm going to look for where i want to create the void first then as you can see we have a window here but this this model in place is actually covering it so we're going to try and use void to cut through it so first of all you can see this railing here is obstructing me so i'm just going to click on it and i'm going to type hh on my keyboard to temporarily hide it so that out of the way i'm going to click on this case work i'm going to click on edit in place then i'm going to go to create and i'm going to go to void forms and i'm going to go to void extrusion so of course i'm going to just click on set i'm going to click on set work plane and i'm just going to pick work plane again so i'm just going to be trying to pick one of these surfaces let's say i pick this one 
okay so now i've picked this surface i'm just going to go rotate my view to an appropriate position where i can just create draw the void and i'm just going to click on this box tool to just create the void to encompass the window panels okay so now that is done i'm just going to impute the value of the void let's say i'm going to impute minus six thousand okay minus hundred i don't need to go too far okay and as you can see the thing is i've created the void but it's not cutting through so what is the issue now if you rotate if i rotate it well now i'm going to see that this void the value is not actually cutting into the these panels here so i'm just going to click on this instead of minus 100 i'm just going to change it to a positive value 100 so it will cut through so as you can see the void form has easily seamlessly cut through and created perforations for the windows so i'm just going to click finish okay finally i'm going to show you how to use void forms on elements like walls here so for instance now i just want to create a pattern here just a sweep pattern a sweep perforation on this wall here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to architecture i'm going to go to model in place component i'm going to go to model in place i'm going to click on casework then i'm going to click ok so casework 39 whatever so now i'm just going to click on void forms i'm going to click on void sweep all right so i'm just going to click on set plane and i'm going to click on pk plane so under this pk plane i'm just going to pick the surface of this wall then i'm going to click on sketch part modify sweep sketch part then i'm going to rotate this 3d view to the right and i'm just going to see if i could sketch something so i'm just going to be drawing the void form from here and i'm going to be drawing it here and i'm going to be drawing it up to this point Alright, so now we are done with this. I'm just going to click on finish and I'm going to rotate this to the front view since I'm editing this part here. And so I'm going to be sketching my profile from this axis. So I'm going to be rotating this to the front view. I'm going to go to edit profile. Then I'm just going to draw a perforation into this wall. Let's say 50 by 85. Let me just do something interesting. Let me just angle here. Angle here. So I'm just going to finally delete this line here and I'm going to click finish. I'm going to click finish. So as you can see now, we have created this void form, but it's not cutting through anything. What we are simply going to do is we are going to click on this. We are going to click on cut. We are going to click on cut geometry. Then we are going to click on multiple cut. So I'm just going to select this. Once I've selected this void form once, I'm just going to click on this first wall and I'm going to click on this second wall and if there is any other wall i can just add it to the frame but since we it's just this tool we need i'm going to stop there then i'm just going to click on finish model so as you can see you can see how the void form just cut through this wall so if i want to put maybe led light here it will be easy for me to do so this is just how versatile you can use void forms if you just know the simple principles around using the void form you should understand that if you are creating a void form to cut through a modeled work you should always cut it within the editable interface of that modeled work so if this video was helpful make sure you reward us by subscribing to our channel for more content like this also hit the notification bell for you to get notified once we release new videos we release videos like this on a weekly basis including architectural review tutorials including architectural lifestyle videos including um, rendering videos and visualization videos and architectural theories so make sure you join our team and you join our family in this channel with that said i'm done i'm going to tell you a very good thank you for watching to the next video